Okay, this is going to be a barbecue smoker. So I'm going to make a an indirect uh, offset indirect uh, smoker. So this is going to be the main cooking, I guess, body, the main part of the of the smoker. It's an old expansion tank I had left over from my boiler, and uh, it's a good size. It's around a foot across, so it's good. This is going to be a smaller smoker. I'm going to build a, a box, uh, a fire box on this side here. I got to do a little more research to just see how exactly how to do this, but for now I'm going to put some legs on it. So I'm going to going to weld up some legs on it. Uh, so I've got my welder there, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Stick some legs on it, and then just kind of build it as I go. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but uh, let's see how it turns out. I welded up a brace along the legs. I put casters on it. Hopefully the camera here is catching it in the, in the light here. I know the dynamic range might be off a little bit. It's pretty sunny and bright out right now and I'm kind of might be in the uh, in the track sunlight. So what I started doing after I got the legs welded on and the braces all in. So now it rolls but I got the casters locked. Um, I'm gonna cut open this end and then I'm gonna build a firebox out of quarter inch plate steel that I still have to pick up and then I'm going to weld this shut closed put a chimney actually here because I'm making um, a baffle plate on the bottom here so it's going to be indirect uh, offset smoker so the firebox will be here smoke will come through like this and the heat and then, so the baffle plate will be in here come up and around swirl around here do its stuff and then out through the chimney over here that's the idea anyway so that's the progress so far and now I'm just gonna cut this end open here and I'll have to pick up some steel and weld up a, a box also got to cut open a door here so I got to still measure that all out and then weld some hinges onto it so I'll cut this out and then put a handle on it a wooden handle of some sort you know so I can open it all right back at it All right, after about 15 minutes of grinding and two cutting discs, I'm through the tank. It, uh, this is what probably 30 or 20 years of, I don't know, rust and water sitting in there looks like. It's, it looks pretty bad in there. I won't bother to show that. But structurally, the steel is still quite good. It looks like it's about maybe an eighth of an inch thick, which is pretty good. It hasn't rusted through anywhere, so it's nice and solid. Um, next, get some metal, build the firebox on this side, close up this, cut a hole, put a chimney in. Uh, it rolls nice. So it'll be nice and heavy, but I'll be able to roll it around on the deck. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is repurposed uh, bed frame this is angle iron from uh, from some shipping when a, a friend of mine got a got a table and that's the old expansion tank from the boiler so anyways in the casters I got those um, at the hardware store for like I don't know four or five bucks each and uh, these guys lock here so that's kind of nice I won't bother to show you my welds because well I'm not a very good welder I'm able to join metal together at least though and it's not like I'm building a bridge.
We got the opening cut for the door. Looks pretty good. Steel still in really good shape. Okay, next up what I'm going to do is I'm cutting out these plates to make the firebox, these quarter inch plate. So over here, what I'm going to do, instead of welding the box directly onto the end here, I'm going to make one plate welded in place here like that. And then I have holes drilled on this quarter inch plate, which will then have the firebox bolt onto this. The reasoning, the reason why I did this is because once I put it all together, it's going to be so heavy, it's going to be hard for me to move around myself. And if I ever need to kind of move it around, at least I can take the firebox off and uh, just move this part and then the firebox separately. So I have all the holes drilled for that, as I mentioned before, I believe. So now I cut this one out and now I'm going to cut, uh, I traced this out, I lined up all the bolts, matched them all up. Then I traced with a sharpie here and now I'm going to take the mini grinder with a zip cut and cut this out. All right, so there we go. That's how you cut a half moon with, uh, with a zip cut. Take your time, cut that right through quarter inch plate. Make sure you use a good cu uh, quality uh, cutting disc um, and it'll uh, just take your time. Working on the firebox now. So this is the plate that I've drilled all the holes in that is gonna bolt on to the actual um, smoker, the main part of the smoker, so this will be the firebox. Quarter inch plate, nice and solid. So now I have, I'm squaring up the box, I'm going to tack weld this, and I'm going to make a box all the way around using these little helpful magnets, and then uh, I'll weld it together. So what I've done is I've welded in some brackets and some angle iron for the grate that will hold the uh, the food, to hold the uh, dead animal. So this is some expanded mesh that I'm using. I, I think that's what they call it, or expanded metal, expanded grate, something like that. I had to cut it in two pieces so I could get it in and out of the main part. And then in the bottom here, I have a quarter inch plate. Oh, so this is all bolted on. Got a nice handle here, heat proof with uh, off of a welding hammer. So the box is done. It's a little wet in there, I, it's rained. So the fire box is done. I'm gonna make a little, little spot here a little higher. Well then a plate. And then I put a, a grate in there for the, as for the fire basket. And then I've drilled holes 
and that was uh, you saw that earlier and I'm just cutting out a plate now so that I can use it as a as a dampener here to let the air in and out and then the last part is to weld in a plate here and I'm going to put an exhaust the chimney here like that and uh, that'll pretty much call it a day just uh, put in some gaskets and test fire it and also the handle I have some brackets here that I made and I'm gonna put a wooden handle on it so because wood doesn't conduct heat very well um, varnish that and put that on and then paint the whole thing Okay, I'm getting it all put together. Hopefully you can hear this because it's a little windy. So I got a smokestack put on the barbecue now, or on the uh, smoker. I welded in a plate, and on here I welded a flange, which I made myself, just bending some uh, 316 steel all the way around. It might not be 316, it might be a little thinner than that actually. And then I just welded it all the way around and I painted it just to keep from rusting the other day. And then this elbow, four inch, elbow and four inch pipe for the smokestack. So here is the finished smoker. I got the the pipe on it. I got it all painted. I kind of uh, I didn't put in all the video of uh, putting on this uh, this handle and stuff because it's pretty simple. I got some some temperature gauges from um, uh, eBay online. They're uh, pretty accurate. I measured them up against a digital digital one. Um, you know, for 10 bucks, they're not a bad deal. And they seem to be accurate so far. Um, down here, I've got the firebox. Got a handle put on here from a welding handle. I got a little fire going already. Got a firebox built in there. Or I should say, um, a tray here which keeps it above. I made it out of this expanded mesh, the same stuff that I have inside as a cooking surface. <clears throat> so that's on the bottom there which allows on the back side here I have two air vents one on the front here you can't kind of see it very well because of the the color it's black but anyways you can adjust it same with over here this is adjustable so you can restrict it off I drilled some holes that's all I did cut some slats in hindsight now I probably would just cut slats with a, a mini grinder see there that nice fire going so that that um, little expanded mesh is above so the airflow can go up and underneath so just pretty simple so fires there it's going it's burning nice so uh, it goes up in through the bottom here so in here's the baffle plate you can see the baffle plate in there that's installed underneath this, underneath that mesh there. The smoke and the heat comes up like this, so we're never getting direct heat on the meat. Up like this, and then bathed into your cooking surface area here, where your food will be, and out through the exhaust. Uh, I got two sections of pipe on it right now, just so <clears throat> it takes it above the garage here, so I'm not breathing in the smoke. Um, and then for a gasket, I just use some cotton because it doesn't get really hot. I was going to use um, felt. I couldn't get any in time because I wanted to give this a try. When I get some, I'll probably replace it. So again, two gauges. Put the handle on. Weld it on a little brace here temporarily for 
kind of seat here for a little shelf. Uh, I gotta put some screws in and I gotta get a better piece of wood and varnish it as well, but it'll do for now. On the bottom here, spot for wood. I got some weight on it for now just to, just in case it's a counterbalance for the firebox. And I showed you the frame already. So yeah, we're gonna do a cook here today. I'm gonna cook some uh, short ribs and see how they come out. Um, but anyways, this is this is it. It's all finished and the temperature is already reading. What do we got here? Just over 250. So uh, yeah, it's feeling nice and warm. Quite pleased with how well it came out. Um, oh, and lastly, down here I put a valve so that way I can wash it out and then I can just turn it on and drain out all the grease and all the gook and everything. Uh, I'm not sure how that'll work, but eh, I thought, figured I'd put it on and see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's a pretty interesting build. Came out really well. I'm quite pleased with it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and um, maybe, uh, maybe this helped out some of you starting out trying to build one. Um, I've never built one before. I just know some basic principles and just read up on it and this is what I came up with. Seems to be working pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching.